The ANC dropped below 50% in the municipal elections. That is almost a certainty that we're going to see the same trend in 2024. Will the ANC be the majority party after the elections in 2024? We do believe that we'll still be in power 2024, but it will not be easy. The reflection by the president is what we always do. You'd remember, um, over years we do what it's what we do an analysis in terms of strategy and tactics, repositioning and analyzing where we are in terms of balance of forces as the organization. The last report you'd remember is the diagnostic report that was presented by then Secretary General Gwede Mandashi. As an organization, we've always been quite, I think we can say good in analyzing a problem very well. We do analyze that. We are frank. Very few of the organizations that exist, political parties, in the country become as transparent as the NC does, where we are able to openly say this is where the problems within the NC is and share that with the public. We do this responsibly because we understand that we are the party that is in government. And therefore, as we're saying, what happens in the NC spills into the society and therefore the accountability and transparency is there. That's why you find this information openly in the public. Um, it's not even if it starts at, at internal documents, but eventually it becomes documents that we take to the public domain. Hardly many parties will find that. How do we say that um, we'll remain in power? It's because of the issues of recognizing where the problems are. Yes, years of corruption have been a problem, and that's why they're addressing them. Public has said to us, we want to see action in terms of those who are responsible being arrested. We don't have to put political pressure to the law enforcement agencies, but we are happy to see that a conducive environment has been created for them to do their work and to do it without fear or favor.